our next guest to make sure that man's best friend behaves himself around the kids. Here to see to it that your dog and your children are one big happy family is the author of Child Proofing Your Dog, Brian Kilcummins. Thanks for coming Hi, in. Hi, Brian. Nice to see you. Welcome. Hello. Well, what exactly do you mean, child proofing your dog? I've never heard that, that term. Well, children interact with dogs very differently. Uh -huh. and, and when anyone has a, a child, everything changes in the family. And that transition for everyone concerned can be done easily and especially for the family dog if you know how to go about doing it. See, now, I've heard of, of course, child-proofing your house, child-proofing your apartment. I have never even thought of child-proofing the animal. No. Well, what, so the what, what the reality is, is we're getting dog bites in the millions in this country. Really? 1.8 million. 70, almost 75% of those bitten are children under the age of 10. So we're not doing something right here, and that's what mm -hmm. child-proofing is about. And the first basis people want to go to, whether you have a child or you don't, or you're thinking of having children, is some basic obedience work. What's the that, first thing we would do? That's the real key. Now, this is McTavish. He's from the Humane Society of New York. He's for adoption. He was abused. Oh. Uh, hitting and yelling is not a training technique. It's abuse. And what they did is they broke his pelvis, oh, and he my. has a pin mm. in his hip. And so, I understand the same person who did that operation also did Elizabeth Taylor's. Is that <laughs> <right>? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Now, what I want to teach McTavish, a couple of things. McTavish, let's go. Just getting him to walk. Good. Wait. Good. But one of the most effective oh things that you want to teach, let's go, sit, down, wait, mm -hmm. come. And you let's just got this dog this morning. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, see, he sees food oh. there. Oh, yes. Right. Now, did my son that's... movement do something to him? Did he no. feel that? No. no, he thinks this is real great because it's a roast beef sandwich. Uh -huh. And Brian, I'm sure that's exactly the kind of thing we don't want when we have the baby. Right, home. especially if you're holding the right. baby. You don't want that jumping. But what I can teach here, let's see. Leave it. Leave. Good. Oh my. Good dog, McTavish. Good. Okay. Now, what purpose does that serve for the baby, specifically? Toddlers. They're draped in food all the time. Oh, sure. You don't want the I dog mean... grabbing different objects. Right. So when I'm teaching him, leave it, which means leave. Good. Very good dog. Very nice. Now, it's, it's leave funny. It alone. In, in an hour, straight from the uh, shelter, you managed to train him that, that quickly. Uh, I haven't that... worked with him before this morning. Uh -huh. I'm interested this now. Just now, uh -huh. Yeah, if smart. people know how to train their dogs, you can do it easily. Mm -hmm. Most people make the mistake of repeating commands, yelling, and allowing unwanted behavior, such as jumping up. You know, it's fine if you're an adult, you like your dog, you have an infant in your arms, it becomes dangerous. Bonnie's got a cat, I have two cats, and I don't know about you, but I talk baby talk. Oh yes, the first thing I did when I picked up this little guy was, oh, aren't you cute, aren't you pretty? Right, we yeah. talk to you, our pets the same way we talk to children. <laughs> yeah, right. now isn't that sending yeah. a mixed message? Very much so, because what happens, we use the same words. So you get a dog like this, you go, oh, what a good boy, McNavish, you know, uh -huh. and what happens, you have the baby, you talk the same way, the same words, the dog comes running up and goes, hey, me, and the owner turns around and goes, hey, he's jealous, look. Right. And it's not jealous, it's confused. Mm -hmm. oh. The other thing is, uh, we have instincts just as the dogs do. And many people, since they're having children later, use the dogs for emotional substitutes. Mm -hmm. So they allow the dogs to get away with a lot of unwanted behavior. So the basic obedience work is really critical here. Verbal direction is a must. Mm -hmm. Baby toys and, and dog and cat toys sometimes are similar. How do you keep a dog away from the baby's toys? Is there a, a trick to that as well? Okay, a couple of things. Let's say this is a teething ring for a baby. Right. You know, it resembles a dog toy. Sure. One of the things I just taught him, leave it, is one way. Now, you're not going to be in the goodness. room all the time. No. All right, so what you can do is use an antiseptic that's very strong smelling, and, uh, and just dab a little bit that, of that right under his nose, right here, all right, and then put it on the toys that you don't want him to take, that are the children's toys. That you don't want him to take. Right. Okay. He'll, he'll walk up there and go, ugh, I know this, and I don't like it. Are there some specifics of what we should do the day that the baby comes home? Yes, because mom's been out of the house, the dog's really excited. Right. You know, also the parents are really upset, so the dog's going to be looking at the parents going, what, what? Mm. So what you do is you let mom come in first to say hello to the dog. With without the baby, the baby or without the without baby? Without the baby. Uh -huh. You have dad carrying the baby. Uh -huh. If you have any doubts, make sure the dog's on the lead. You say hello, you get in, you get settled, and then what you can do is have the baby on your lap like this, mm -hmm and then walk, have the dog walk up. Again, this is where the obedience training comes in. You do a sit or a down. And then you talk to the dog, and when you feel the dog is in control, you let the dog come up, sniff the baby, and then you start going, hey, this is new Jimmy, you know? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, isn't he cute? And you give the dog some attention with the baby, so he starts being introduced to it. The other thing, with child-proofing, which we outline, you see how you're petting him mm -hmm. more? This is very nice. This is what adults do. 
Kids don't do that. No, they oh, poke right. eyes and then... Right, they poke, yeah. they grab, they pull, and a dog doesn't have a reference point. So what I suggest most people do is start getting the... Good, very nice, good. With, in this case, I wouldn't put this dog in a home with the children. He's been hurt. The pelvis is broken. He has a pin in his leg. He's a lovely dog, but not for kids at this point. And this one's a little bit too small for my liking. You want a medium-sized dog that can handle the rough and tumble. I also read where you said something about you should uh, sort of practice jerky movements or sudden motions to, uh, to dogs because kids tend to, to do that right, kind of reaction. Look what's happened with him. He's been hit. Uh -huh. All right, so he's going to anticipate yeah. being hurt here. What do kids do? Yeah. You know, they would come into this world with a volume turned up. Could you do that again for me one more time? Just let me see. Yeah. 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 It's a Jerry Lewis thing. A lady. So to get him used to this, what we're going to do is start making those hand movements where it's McTavish. I want him to know it's coming. McTavish, what a good dog. Uh, what yeah. a good, good. dog. Now, Brian, how far in advance do we need to start this training before we know that we're going to have the baby? Plan on it as soon as you get the dog. First of all, you don't live with the puppy. You live with the dog. And long term, you want to set behavior right from the beginning, and early training is critical, so bad habits don't develop. Okay. You never have to correct jumping if it doesn't start. Mm -hmm. Great one, information. One word command. Thanks. That, I, boy, I love this. I learned a lot. Yeah. Stay with us. Coming up next, uh, she's here at last, the one, the only, the queen of crafts, Carol Duvall. Stay with us. <laughs>